Okay, so this is the first example on elementary rule operation. In this case, I first started with a 2 by 2 matrix and after this, we are going to proceed with a 3 by 3 matrix. So, elementary row operation for 2 by 2. So, when we start, we are going to write this down in augmented matrix form where we have A on the left hand side and identity on the right hand side. And after elementary row operation, we're going to be left with I on the left hand side and on the right hand side we're going to get our A inverse. So elementary row operation is actually one of the method in order to obtain the A inverse. So this is our aim up here. We want to have our A inverse. Okay, so let's start. We have A2513. So let us write down in augmented form. So we have 2, 5, 1, and then the identity on the right hand side is simply a 2 by 2 matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is our diagonal entry. We have to make sure the number below it becomes 0 because we want to have the identity 1, 0, 0, 1. So I'm more focusing on getting this 0 first and then I'm going to change it to 1. Okay, so I want to change row 2. So the operation is with row 1, so row 2, the value is 1, row 1, the value is 2. So the formula is 2 row 2 minus row 1, so row 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, times with 2, first. And then row 1, the value is 2, 5, 1, 0. And then we're going to deduct them. So 2 minus 2, 0. 6 minus 5, this is 1. 0 minus 1, minus 1. 2 minus 0 is 2. So we already changed the 1, the 2, sorry. So let us write down the new row 2. The formula is 2 row 2 minus row 1. So I didn't change the 1, so let us keep writing down 2, 5, 1, 0. Second row is 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. So let us focus on the second diagonal entry. So the number of to need to become 0. So I have to change the 1. The operation is with 2, 2. Row 1, the value is 5. Row 2, the value is 1. So the formula is row 1 minus 5, row 2. Row 1 is 2, 5, 1, 0. Row 2 is 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. So we have to be very careful, especially when we play with positive and negative sign. So 2 minus 0, this is 2. 5 minus 5, 0. 1 plus 5, so this is 6. 0 minus 10, so negative 10. So what do we do? We change row 1, so the new row 1. The formula is row 1 minus 5, row 2. So let us change row 1. It should become 2, 0. 6, negative 10, and for row 2, it should be the same, 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. Okay, so like what I said earlier, our aim is we want to have identity on the left hand side. So I already obtained the 0 and 0. I just need to make sure I have 1 in the diagonal entry. So this is already 1, but I have to change this 1 to become 1, so 2 to become 1. So the operation that I need to do is with row 1. So it's supposed to be 1 over 2 row 1. So 1, 0, 6, multiply with 1 over 2, 3, negative 5. Keep copy down the second one, 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. 
then have it. So we have identity on the left hand side and the inverse on the right hand side. Therefore, the A inverse is 3, negative 5, negative 1, and 2.